Hello and welcome. Today I have a special surprise. Shannon Smith asked me to do this. He reminded me of a performer that I knew when I was a child and forgot ever existed until Shannon reminded me. This person was possibly one of the great magicians of the 1960s, often overlooked. Folks, he performed five different shows for Warner Brothers in the 1960s, but is mostly forgotten today. I give you one of the great magicians of all time, Merlin the Magic Mouse. Shannon Smith asked me to do this, and I, I almost forgot that the guy existed. But I went back and I looked at some of the videos for, for the Magic Mouse, and he is just fantastic. He's kind of based a little bit loosely on W.C. Fields, and he has this kind of antagonistic relationship, as you might expect, with cats. I kind of enjoy that. Here is a photograph of uh, Merlin sawing a cat in half. Sadly, the cat did not survive. <laughs> But hey, Merlin was a great performer. Let me give you a little bit of background on Merlin the Magic Mouse. Merlin the Magic Mouse and Second Banana, Second Banana, by the way, was his assistant, uh, were Looney Tunes characters in the 1960s, created by Alex uh, Lovey, uh, designed by Jamie Diaz, voiced by Dawes Butler in 1967, later Larry Storch, 1968 to 1969. He starred in five Warner Brothers Looney Tunes shorts from 1967 to 1969. The first creation was Merlin the Magic Mouse, directed by Alex Lovey. Uh, in 1967, Jack Warner reorganized Warner Brothers' animation department and hired Lovey away from Hanna-Barbera uh, to create new characters for Warner Brothers. The two characters that he created were Merlin the Magic Mouse and Cool Cat. Merlin was a traveling nightclub magician. He preferred the term prestidigitator, but he couldn't pronounce it. His magic word was adescondero escondido. Merlin's sidekick, of course, was Second Banana. Second Banana is basically a smaller mouse. You can see that. I'm going to put a few links below. I, I didn't find all five of the of the of it. In fact, I didn't find one complete one either. But I did find some shorts on YouTube, and I'll put those links below so you can take a look at them. Uh, Dawes Butler provided the voice of Merlin and Second Banana in the first short. Merlin the Magician, Larry Storch performed the voices for the other four films. Merlin's voice and mannerism are, of course, based on W.C. Fields. The titles of the five shorts include Merlin and the Magic Mouse, 1967, Hocus Pocus Powwow, 1968, Feud with a Dude, 1968, uh, Fistic Mystic, 1969, and Shamrock and Roll, 1969. So Shannon Smith, thank you so much for suggesting that I do a tribute to the great and only Merlin the Magic Mouse. Thank you so much. Folks, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And please comment down below. I love your comments. Have a great day.